right guys so today's video is going to be quite the interesting video because i'm going to go to the app store and review dragon ball legends one star reviews versus five star reviews and here we go now last time i did this it was extremely challenging because it was very hard to read some of you guys reviews i mean honestly some of these reviews was like i feel like a five-year-old wrote and i'm not i'm not even joking you i'm not even joking you guys will see for yourself now I'm going to go into this completely blind. I'm going to start off with the one star reviews and then, you know, kind of work my way up to the five star reviews. So let's not waste any time and comment down below. If you guys had to rate Dragon Ball Legends of uh, one out of five, what would you guys rate Dragon Ball Legends? Now, I'm going to give it a five because, of course, I make content. This is what I do. But this is just me, though. Uh, but what we're going to be doing first and foremost is we are going to be going to the not most critical, but we're going to be going to let's just see, see all. And then we're going to go to the most recent. Okay, so like what's going on Dragon Ball Legends as of right now, okay? So the first one gave it a two star. It says get up faster, okay? Lion the second wrote this. I don't like that is rating match. The first hit is the most important. Like if you get hit first, it take a very long time for you to get up. It is not fair. <laughs> Dude, I'm reading this blindly. I. It, I feel like I just had a stroke while reading this. Now, you know, in English might not be their first language, but this is really not like a, a fair review, I would say. I mean, yeah, you get a little bit of priority once you, you know, of course, you get hit first. You get hit first. So that's kind of like in any game, right? So in any game, you, you, you kind of get hit and then you, the, the opponent just starts their combo. It is what it is, you know? Um, now, something that I do agree with him is the fact that every character, like let's just say Ultra Vegeta Blue, does have cover nullification, and they could have just extend your combos for a very long time. And we do need more characters for combo disruptions, uh, kind of like like the new Piccolo kind of does it too to like reduce key and stuff like that. But kind of like Zamasu, Zamasu really diminishes your key and stuff like that. So or characters that locks in strike cards for maybe like two to three timer counts, uh, something around those lines would be very ideal. But yeah, it was very hard to read that one. Uh, this next one is got banned for no reason king stacks i was in pvp and got banned now there's reasons why you get banned i've spoken to people that actually know people in charge of dragon ball legends and there's legitimate reasons why people get banned so this guy probably did something whether it's you know uh kind of doing some malicious stuff in pvp and you know um ending connections and stuff like that he probably did something there had to be a reason why he got banned so yeah i mean if he didn't then it sucks obviously but I'm assuming there has to be a reason why, right? All right, this guy right here said, very bad game. Just another gambling site. The chances are so bad and the prices for 3,000 is $30 overpriced. Now, let me just fight this real quick, okay? So by Flick86, 1,004, okay. So I, I don't agree with this whatsoever, okay? Number one, it's not just another gambling site. It's a gacha game. You know what you signed up for when you when you play a gacha game, whether it's still Battle, whether it's Genshin Impact. I don't know, right? It's a gacha game. It, it is what it is, right? You could get really lucky. You could get really shafted. It's RNG at the end of the game. So I agree with you on that one, but you're complaining about a gacha game, knowing it's a gacha game. So that's irrelevant in itself, right? And um, the price is for $30 for... Uh, 3000 crypts for $30 is overpriced. Compare that to any other gacha game. This is a great deal. It, it's in the general aspect, yes, it is overpriced, but if you compare it to any gacha game like Genshin Impact or something like that, even though Okan Battle, these are actually cheap prices or cheaper prices, not cheap prices. So for a gacha game, it's not really that bad. Okay. And I know I feel like I'm defending stuff here, but I'm just stating facts, right? It's, it's just facts. So uh, let's see here uh nf trick what does that even mean so in pvp it's a one trick so you win and it's not fair fix it see like this is the stuff that i'm talking about like what does this even mean like okay okay <laughs> um this guy said why you banned me give it a five star i am so sorry for doing violence please give me my account please kid boo <sighs> dude i i i'm speechless like what is this like this is not even a review all right, this guy, Shake Shady, uh, Thursday, which technically two days ago, gave this review. One star, glitchy, unfair combat system. I used to spend money on this game, never again. It simply doesn't matter. Not when you have a combat system that is filled with glitches, lag, and allows players to abuse the server lag. I mean, this happens when people get banned, right? This could happen in any game. 
but people get banned for that, right? So, um, yeah, the fact that it does lag sometimes, I do agree with you there, but the fact that people can lag switch happens in every game and people do get banned for it eventually, right? It is what it is. Um, love before hates. Okay, so you know what? Before we even get to this one, let's get to some five star reviews because I feel like this video has been like five minutes long and we haven't read one five star review really. So, uh, best game ever by Lucas Colvert, okay? He said, actually my favorite game in the whole world. So fun, but really hard to get to see if you complete story. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is a fun game. It is pretty hard to complete. Uh, I, mean, I mean, after you complete the story, it is pretty hard to get crystals, but I do make some crystals guides for you guys here on my channel. And yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying, but at the end of the day, it's a gotcha game, right? So yes. Uh, Piccolo, please. Uh, my glorious king. Five star review. I don't know what to make of that. So best game ever this is the best game ever okay so i yeah some of these reviews just okay let's read this one right here okay this one has a pretty full uh review okay so it says love the game goku one two three okay absolutely love the game it truly does deserve the world the word legend in it um the story is insanely detailed which i would agree it is pretty good like how bardock knows that they wore the clothes in the old days Plus, it's also a fun online game I can play with my friends, but I also beat them. Stop the cat. Thanks for the hard work, or thanks to the hard work y'all put in this game. And probably my favorite mobile, uh, he spelled that wrong, model game ever. Okay. Um, absolutely legendary game. I mean, yeah, I, I love the game too. It has its flaws, obviously, but uh, it's kind of hard to read its flaws um, here with this one star reviews. Like, these one star reviews are really, really bad, right? Um, Okay, let's see this guy. Robbery. Okay. I get shafted every time I play this game. Dokkan better for real. I mean, you could get shafted in Dokkan. You could get like in Legends. It's RNG. So I would consider this not a good one star review, right? Um, units are getting too crazy. Let's read this one. Two star. Two star review, okay? I know the dev team wants to make money, but they need to calm down with their headliner units. I mean, as of late, uh, it is what it is, right? It's power creep. It's in every game, but. Uh, Let's just keep reading here, right? Making one character have ways to counter and negate multiple things at once makes the game not fun. Ultra Vegeta Blue and Goku and Frieza are the prime example of this. Locking cards, not being able to use Rising Rush, main ability ceiling. Well, you know, for Goku and Vegeta, I mean, for Goku and Frieza and Ultra Vegeta, they're anniversary units, so they're supposed to be broken, but I get what you're saying. Yes, they are very broken, especially Goku and Frieza because it's very hard to counter them. Um, so yeah, I would 100% agree with you there. Um, and then he goes on to just kind of say the problematic of Goku, uh, Goku and Frieza and Ultra Vegeta Blue. So I do get it now. Yeah, guys. I mean, um, let's read this last one. It's up. It's opposite. Basically. It's the opposite. Basically. He wrote basic and Lee. Okay. No, it's the opposite. Toxic players and bullies. I'm right here. Say it to my face. You're a bunch of bullies. I intend to. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it off of that. I can't read any more of this guys. I cannot read any more of this, but uh, you guys get the points comment down below uh, What would you guys rate Dragon Ball Legends one out of five? Of course, it's not a perfect game But for me since I make content and stuff like that, I do enjoy the game and I am a Dragon Ball fan I'm give I'm gonna give it a five, but that's just me uh, But yeah guys if you did enjoy the video if you guys want to part two of this or part three of because I've made a video like this before Make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe and I'll never catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.